hi everyone. Um, this is a little bit of an impromptu video because I didn't plan on filming a podcast today. So I, I thought that while oh, the sun's out and I've got a few minutes up my sleeve, I might touch base because it's been a long time since I've recorded. Nothing's wrong. Um, life's just busy and I haven't had a lot of time to do things that I really want to do like knitting and sewing. But I thought that, you know, I might just give you an update on where I'm at. Hopefully the wind and the trees aren't too noisy for you and you can hear me okay. Um, I'm sitting outside. It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm just taking a break from work. So I think I've got about 10 minutes and then I've got some meetings scheduled. So I'll have to rush off to those. But um, yeah, so hopefully it's not too loud. If it is, sorry. <laughs> I don't have a microphone or anything. So we'll just have to make do with what we've got. Um, I'm not going to go through the normal format and show finished objects or anything like that. I do have many, well, not many. I have my Tecumseh sweater that I finished that I absolutely love and I wore all winter. I can't remember if I showed that in the last podcast or not. But I did want to quickly talk about what I'm working on at the moment and it's lovely and frustrating <laughs> and really, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. But at the same time, um, I'm really frustrated by it because it takes so long and if you haven't guessed I'm doing the Stephen West mystery knit along. Um, I've had to pull it out once and I know he says not to rip back but my stitch count was so far out there was no way to salvage it without it looking weird so I pulled it out and I started again. So I'm still on clue one at the beginning if you don't want to know if spoil if, if you don't want any spoilers look away or turn it off watch it once you're ready um this is where i'm at so i think i'm only up to like the second pattern repeat um and it's it's a lot of work but it's so beautiful i did do the um crisscrossing of these bits and it looks stunning i love the colors i decided to do this on a whim um, because i saw karen over at not fancy knitter <laughs> If you don't know Karen, go check out her podcast. She's great. I love watching her podcast. Um, she had colours similar to this, which I didn't realise when I bought this because I kind of just got caught up in what I was doing. And between Karen and Stephen West saying that you need a cable needle, as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, because I wasn't going to do it all September. I was like, no, last year was hard work and I didn't really um, like the finished object. I love the process, but, you know, it's it's not really something that I wear. And so I was thinking, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Just concentrate on what I've got. And then once I saw Karen's colours and I heard about the cable needle, I immediately um, bought the pattern and <laughs> jumped onto the Bendigo Woolen Mills website. And it just so happened they were having a sale on their Tranquility yarn, which is a four-ply. Um, wool silk with a touch no wool and nylon so like a sock yarn with a touch of silk and the colors were perfect and so I bought three so I can't remember the names of the colorways I may post them I may not I might do it at a later date so there's this beautiful pink pinky purpley dusty lovely color um, and this oh that's my main color um, this is my contrast color which is called sable and it's um it's a really pretty off white pinkish grayish yeah anyway it's gorgeous I, I sort of think of it like a pearl color and then my contrast um my accent color of course is mustard so I can't wait to get up to using that um these were on sale for about fourteen dollars a two hundred gram ball so I only needed three balls and I'm gonna have plenty over of my accent color so maybe enough for a pair of socks as well. And I've just been knitting when I can. Um, it, I, I'm not getting many opportunities at the moment. We've got a, a lot going on here. But, yeah, I'm just I'm chipping away. And as I said, this is my second go round at this one. So I had to pull out everything except the I-cord cast on, which was pretty frustrating. But, you know, I, I don't want to put all the work in and then have it look wrong at the end. And I would notice that and dwell on that so I think it was better that I pulled it out even though it completely bombed any chance I have of keeping up with the clues not that I ever really had a chance anyway 
but you know I could have fooled myself that I had a chance so if you're not knitting this um, that's fine I can't blame you <laughs> sometimes I feel like not knitting this but I just I really like the way it's looking and I have been looking at spoilers for the other clues um, and they're like all of the things that Stephen West does initially I look at them and go mm. and then the more I look at them I start to to really like them <laughs> and to and to want to knit them myself so yeah I think I think it's going to be beautiful and if not I'm just going to have another useless shawl in my cupboard that I've very much enjoyed making so that's where I'm at with that um, I accidentally bought some yarn last night and I'm not a big buyer I don't buy a lot of yarn and when I do it's usually for a specific um, project but I was messing around on Etsy I don't know why I don't even know why or how I got there but I ordered some of the most beautiful hand dyed um, sock yarn that I've ever come across I've got three skeins coming um, but I'll share that I think maybe next time but I'm very excited so that it's, they should arrive next week and there's a beautiful greeny bluey underwatery colorway called Neptune and I can't remember the names of the other two but one is my usual suspects of pink and mustard and the other one is like um, a cream and purple speckled beautiful yarn so anyway I'm excited about that um, things are going to be busy here for another well who am I kidding probably forever but they should start to quieten down in December I'm hoping sort of towards the end of the year um, I've got I'll have some news about that at some point um, a few big projects that I've been working on are going to be finishing up which is great because they've been stressful and hopefully they end up the way I want them to but I'm not going to go into it too much um, but it just means I haven't been knitting as much and soon my sewing time is going to get completely chewed up because I'm making party bags I don't know why I can't just be a normal person and go and buy paper bags but I decided to hand make drawstring pouches for my daughter's birthday in December and she's inviting all of her friends from kinder she's a very gregarious young lady and she's got lots of friends so we are going to have 26 of those to do plus my husband's family do a handmade gift exchange so I need to do handmade gifts for them and I also have to do teacher gifts so yeah it's not really going to slow down at all is it oh well anyway I'm going to keep it short and sweet thanks for watching I didn't even say welcome or anything like that but if um, you've watched my podcast before thank you for checking back in on me and if you are new to the podcast thanks for joining me it's usually a little more um, structured than this but like I said it's a beautiful day I had a few minutes so that's that um, hope wherever you are and whatever you're doing you're having a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.